Hello students, good morning and how are you today? I hope you had a good night rest. Alright, so this morning it's time for study again and we'll be having math. Alright, so get all the things you need. Get your books, your pencils, erasers if you need them. If you need to take some notes down, please get your, your math notebook so you can take some notes down and you can always revise them. It's always good to do that because it helps you to remember. Okay, so today we'll be looking at lesson 11 and unit 1. We've done that before, but we'll have a review of it so we can understand better. And if you're just joining in in the class, then you can watch the previous video. And if you see this also, it will help you to have a better understanding. We're looking at the units of length. We'll have a revision on it. Units of length, mass, and volume. Your student book, pages 194 to 197. And the workbook is from pages uh, 179 to 186. Our objective. Now we're going to differentiate each of those measurements. And then we'll look at length. We'll identify the units for measuring length. We'll identify the units for measuring mass. And we'll all equally identify the units for measuring volume or capacity. Then the last thing we'll do is to try to convert units of measurements all right so let's get to the lesson okay so the for measurements what exactly is measurements let's understand what measurement means to measure something means you want to know the size you want to know the weight or maybe you want to know the quantity of that thing so you want to measure it my sister comes into the house and I only have a bottle of soda with me. I have actually opened up the soda and I'm drinking it already. And then she says to me, ah, no, no, I'm about to drink it. I'm not drinking yet. And she says to me, no, I'll have to have some soda. She takes from me and she pours some part of it into a cup. She gives the bottle back to me and I say to her, no, 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 no. I think you have more than me. I think you have more than me and she asked me how do you know then I'll say okay let's measure it I'll take two cups same cups and I'll pour out the contents from my bottle and your own cup into the two same cups so I can measure and see if it is the same what are we doing we are measuring we want to know quantity so that means we're trying to see the volume or the capacity of the contents or the drink the soda in the cups we are putting them in okay all right now so to measure something means you want to know how much it's how much that thing is all right uh when you say i have a dress and you say to a dressmaker i have a dress but it's too big and the dressmaker will ask you how do you know it's too big then you say oh well it's like it's a size 14 and i'm a size 10. size 14 is a measurement for a particular body shape size 12 is a measurement for a particular body shape as well so to measure something means you want to know the size then if the dressmaker says okay let me have the dress i'll make your measurements and i'll make the measurements of the dress so that I can know where to adjust. What is the person doing? The person only wants to find out the size, your size and the size of the uh, dress so she can make the necessary adjustments. What does that mean? The person is going to be measuring the dress in length. If you've ever been measured by, uh, your, if your measurement has ever been taken by a cloth maker, you find out that they have this uh, flexible rules is not it's not a, it, well it's a ruler to them but they have that and then they, they use it to take the measurements of your uh, body size so that they'll be able to make accurate clothes for you all right that's exactly what measurement means but measurements can be in three categories you can either measure the size like the size of your dress or the size of your table or the size of your ruler or your pencil sharpener or you measure the weight 
Weight means I want to know how much I weigh. So I stand on the scale. I mean, I, I, I know most of you have that in the house. So you can either measure your length, how tall you are, or you measure your mass, how heavy you are. And then the last one is volume. Okay, volume is for measuring quantity and it's usually for measuring things in liquid or semi-liquid form. All right, so please, whenever measurements come to your mind or whenever we make mention of measurements, the three things for the purpose of this lesson that will come to your mind are what? I can either measure in length, that's how high or tall, or I measure in mass, how heavy or light. And finally, I can equally measure in volume. What is the quantity? How much is it? Like, is it uh, halfway full? Is it uh, empty? That's what volume measures. All right, then, now that you understand that we have three ways of measuring things, another thing is, for each of those ways of measuring, we have some units. Now that you know that, uh, your, you can measure your height in length. Now, let me ask you, if I asked you, what is your height? You already know that the measurement we are talking about is length. But would you tell me my height is five length or my height is five high? No, there has to be a unit for you to use. So when you're measuring your height, how tall or short you are there are four units that we use we use millimeters centimeters meters and kilometers i shortened them to mcmk so you can always remember quickly so when we talk about measuring how tall or how short you remember that mcmk are the units we use and what is mcmk millimeters for measuring very tiny objects. That's why we said it is a smaller unit. Centimeters, for measuring objects that are a little bit bigger. That's why we said uh, it's centimeters is bigger than millimeters because it measures in, you know, it measures a little bit bigger objects. Then meters is for large objects. Okay, so kilometers finally is for measuring only distance and roads. Okay, so what does this tell you? Kilometers is the largest because it's very large. It's measuring something very large and it measures only distance and roads. Meters is the next to kilometers. It is smaller than kilometer. Okay, but it is bigger than centimeter. Remember, centimeter only measures things that are a little bit bigger, like your book. Centimeter can measure your book. Meter can measure your playground. It can measure the football field. It can measure uh, the, the tree outside the house. That's how we measure with meters. But centimeters are just for things around you that you can quickly measure, like your pencil and so on. Millimeters is the tiniest. It measures very, very tiny objects. So take note of that, okay? Well, and then the next one is mass. Remember we said mass will let you know how heavy or how light something is. So how do we measure mass? What are the units of measurement? So you'll find out that it is only uh, length that seems to have the units of length that seem to have four, MCMK, they have four units. But mass and volume are different. For mass, it measures in grams and kilograms. And let me quickly say this to you. All the time you go to the grocery to pick up things, and then, they, uh, especially vegetables and fruits, once an attendant collects it from you, puts it on a scale, and then the person pastes or puts a sticker on it, what the person has done is to measure the mass of the fruits or vegetables of what you have bought and mass can be measured in grams and kilograms okay in grams and kilograms so when your uh, the measurement is being done the next time you go to the grocery check it to see if it is in grams 
or kilograms. Grams is smaller. Grams is used for measuring smaller objects or something that is light. Like, for example, you pick up just one strawberry and then you take it there. They want to put the sticker on it. It will be measured in grams because it's so light. But kilograms will be used for measuring heavier objects. It will be used for measuring heavier objects. That's what kilograms does. What does this tell you? Grams is smaller. Kilograms is bigger okay let's go to volume volume measures quantity like we said it measures like things that are in liquid form or semi-liquid liquid form like your water even your ice cream that's what the volume measures okay but there are also two units of volume there are two units that you can use to measure in volume and they are millimeter uh, sorry milliliters and liters Milliliters is small. That's why it's milliliters. Liters is the bigger one. So milliliters is going to measure little of, uh, quantities. Uh, for example, you just have, okay, what you have in a test tube or you go to the hospital and you are given some syrup to use and you're given a syringe to use to bring out the the drugs or the medicine from the bottle you're told to use 2.5 mils that's what they call milliliters 2.5 mils it's a very tiny bit of quantity if you have something like that in the house you can look around and check it it's measured in very little quantity but let's consider a bucket of water a full bucket of water it's still quantity right Yes, so we can still measure it in volume, but will you measure it in milliliters? If you measure something in a small syringe as milliliters, would you also measure a bucket of water in milliliters? No, because that's too large. Okay, so that is measured in liters. Liters. The petrol that or mom buys from the filling station or for the, from the gas station, is it going to be in liters or in milliliters? Great job. It's going to be in liters because it's going to be a large quantity. All right. So let's go on to the next one. Now that we understand that measurements has to do with length, mass and volume. And now we know that for length, there are four units of measurement. For mass, we have two and volume also has two. So let's go on. Now, what did we learn today? We've been able to read and tell the time in the digital and analog form. We were able to tell the difference between the AM and PM hours. And now we can read and differentiate the 12 and 24 hour time, right? Okay, great. You've done the workbook and student book. I've, done, I've seen them. But if you haven't done it, you're just joining in in the class, please make sure you do send me the pictures. It is important because the attendance uh on on the comments you make on the videos on youtube the homeworks you send will determine the scores we are actually sending your we're actually making your grades with them so please make sure that you do all the homeworks and send send them to me on class dojo all right so we have another class again take care of yourselves and bye for now